As the evidence against Donald Trump continues to pile up in his criminal scandals, and the nation increasingly demands his ouster, Palmer Report has consistently pointed out that it's going to come down to math. At some point 20 Republican senators will selfishly decide that their own odds of re-election are better if they kick Trump out, and that'll be the end of him. Over the past two weeks, Senate Republicans have been increasingly voting against Donald Trump on legislation he cares about, in the clearest sign yet that they think he's going down, and that they're trying to avoid going down with him. Perhaps in retaliation, Trump has decided that his number one goal in life is to attack John McCain as often and as offensively as possible. This is finally resulting in GOP senators pushing back, or at least one of them in particular. Republican Senator Johnny Isakson said last year that if anyone attacked John McCain, they deserved a whipping for it. Sure enough. After Donald Trump spent the past few days attacking McCain, Isakson said today that I want to do what I said that day on the floor of the Senate. In other words, he wants to deliver a whipping against Trump. We're assuming he means the metaphorical kind, and that he's not actually talking about physically beating Trump up, but this is nonetheless quickly dissolving into a food fight. We'll see what happens next. Donald Trump will surely hear about Isakson's remarks and file back on Twitter, which will only serve to give more exposure to what Isakson said about Trump. Interestingly, it appears that Isakson made his remarks today before he was aware that Trump had just unleashed on McCain yet again, this time criticizing McCain for not having come back from the dead to thank Trump for throwing him a big funeral. This will only get uglier for Trump and the GOP.